and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel my friends today we're going to be diving back into god eater 3 um as we're going to be taking on one of the other standard missions and this one's called the bio god of the abyss so i don't know what this is i'm assuming it's taking on bosses i'm assuming um but we've got a team of oh okay we've got a team of four people so it should be pretty interesting so i'm assuming it's gonna be bosses like boss creatures or something but I'm interested to see how this is all going to play out. Hopefully I don't get made look like a newbie noob and get my butt handed to me, but time will tell. Um, but, Asitas, hopefully we're all enjoying these sorts of videos, guys. This is going to be my fifth video on this now. Um, there's probably going to be a few more. I'm not 100% sure. Probably like another two, maybe three. Um, but if you would like to see me play the full game of this at some point in the near future, maybe for my second channel or something, when it goes live later on this year, Asitas, then let me know, guys, okay? Um... I'm intrigued to try a lot of new things when it comes to my second channel, a very lot of different sorts of approaches with content, uh, different types of games, even games that take me out of my comfort zone. You know what I mean? Like this, for example, this this sort of game takes me way out of my comfort zone because it's not something I would normally play, but it's exciting. To, it's like a learning curve for you, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I generally am. And you can ask any content creator these days that plays games that they'll tell you that playing new things even if it's just a demo or a brand new game or something it's it's a lot of fun it, it's, it's exciting because it's a learning curve you yeah you can get mashed up bro this guy's doing a runner <laughs> it's like don't run away bro fight me Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is that? Yo. I think he's a boss creature. Okay, it's not letting me it's not letting me get out of the smoke, guys. It's doing what he did on my other video, where it's not letting me get out of, um... I can't get out of my gun mode. It says click R1, but it it doesn't let me, like, change it. It's not letting me do it, so I don't know what I'm going to have to do with this. Uh... Can you please change, please? I'm gonna have to literally have to butt like button spam just to try and get out of this. Literally, it's not doing it. Honest, honestly, guys, it's not doing it. It's not changing out of the gun mode. Uh, why ain't it doing it? I'm sorry, team, but I'm having to let you down right now. It's not letting me get out of my gun mode. So yeah, to the developers, please can you make an easier option for this, because, I don't know, I think it's a bit of a problem, maybe a bug or something. It's just not letting me, like, switch, like, literally I'm clicking R1 right now to try and switch it, but it's just not allowing it. I'm having to literally spam different buttons right now. Oh, there we go, we got you out of the mode, I'm out of the mode, it's all good. Time to do my part in this now. I had to button spam just to get out of that gun mode, so... I don't know what buttons ended up causing it to change. I don't know if I've got my controller settings on a dodgy setting or something. I don't know. But it just wasn't responding to what I wanted it to do. So if, they are, so if the developers are seeing this video, just I just want to obviously give you guys my feedback. I think this has got a lot of potential to become a really, really great game. Um, little things like, you know, working on making the buttons a lot more easier to use. And being able to obviously change from gun mode back to normal mode. I think should be an easier option. 
because it just wasn't responding. I, like I said, I don't know if it's my controller or if it's the game itself. But other than that, this is a solid game. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy. Mash this guy out there. I think I'm a genius. Don't forget to check for useful items. Nah, I don't need to for items. It's only a demo, it's so good. Maybe in the full game I'll probably look for as many items as I can, but it's a lot of fun there. So we did manage to defeat that boss and everything, guys. It seems you know, I mean, having a team of four with you seems a lot more easier to get this done, but what can I say? I don't mind. It helps me get through my recordings quicker. But Asita's, this has been a lot of fun playing, and hopefully you are enjoying it as well. That was the Vile God of Abyss, of the Abyss. And um, there's only a few more missions left now. So, Asita's, I'm looking forward to recording more on this. And just want to say, guys, if you are enjoying this sort of content and you are new to the channel, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And drop some comments down below in the comment section. Let me know if you're going to be picking this game up on the 8th of February for PlayStation 4. Obviously, this game is a PlayStation exclusive. And the seat is... Let me know what your overall thoughts are on it, okay? Have a marvelous day. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care.